Hello, good friends, it's the Twy King, and thanks for joining me for another episode of the Age of Calamity Efficiency Challenge. Before we hop into the next uh, set of side challenges, I've been thinking a lot over uh, in between recording sessions and uh, to really increase the overall completion percentage, we should just go ahead and uh, complete some of these upgrades as they are for the most part. <laughs> I would say as long as the uh, gap between uh, what's required and what we already have is um, like more than double or triple what it is, it should be good enough to upgrade. Otherwise, we will just hold off on it till we feel like we've got just enough for it. So let's look around for some of these things. Um, for this one here, I would say that should be just fine. Razor Claw Clab got uh, only double of that but I think we'll be fine with upgrading Monk here okay let's go for Sidon now alrighty he's got uh, less than double of Withrobe trophies so maybe I should hold off on that here got five times for Bacoblins and uh, plenty for Lizophos Rupees yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade him for that. I shall handle the next tussle. Okay. This one of Sidon. It's got less than double of Stealth Fin Trout, but I don't think uh, many other upgrades are going to need that anyway, so let's just go ahead and get that one going. I seem to have improved. Okay, we've unlocked an upgrade for Ur Urbosa, thanks to that. Let's see if we have, uh... Yeah, we got a very sufficient amount for all these here. Yeah, let's go ahead. For the Bacoblins, though, uh, this might be the last upgrade I do with Bacoblins in it. I will put this strength to good use. Alrighty. So... If anything requires a Bacoblin, I'm going to um, hold off on that. Okay, we only have one more Fortified Pumpkin, so that's not worth an upgrade. Bacoblin, hold off on that as well. Alrighty, we got definitely more than enough for this one, so let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Okay. Alrighty, uh, Yonobo... Might need a few more uh, flints and stone pebblet trophies. So let's hold off on his as well. Okay, that he wants the cobblins. Lionel, he wants three Lionel trophies. So hold off on that one as well. That one also has the cobblins. So does that. And that. Okay, Teba. Gosh, 400 Bacoblin trophies, yeah. S stay away from that. Okay, some Star Fragments shouldn't be that bad of a uh, loss here. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Just some extra hearts. Teba here, still Bacoblins. Rivali, we still got Bacoblins for him. And for him as well. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these are okay. This one has Lizophos in it. And only we only have 28 Moblin trophies. Let me see what this one has really quick. Bacoblin for that. I think uh, let's go ahead and give uh, Teba a bonus combo here. I haven't yet reached my peak. Alrighty, down here. Master Koga. That one also has Bacoblin. Looks like he got, he's got plenty of these here. Just only three Withrobe trophies. Alrighty. This one. Lizophos. Okay, we got plenty of Lizophos. 1,500 rupees is what it will cost too, but um, we should be fine with that. 
Well, look at that. I improved on perfection. Okay. I've unlocked another uh, kind of upgrade for him, but it requires some more rupees. <laughs> as well as moblins. <laughs> so, we'll just wait on that. This uh, upgrade for Urbosa will have to wait because the chilled shrooms are, um, as well as the compliment guts, are not that much. Cool Safina. I think some cool Safinas can be bought if I ever need those, but let's just go ahead and upgrade her for that anyway. I will put this strength to good use. Okay, this one for um, Riju. Volt Fruit, 20 out of 39. But the Coblin Trophies, hold off on that one. Okay, this one should be just fine. <laughs> if I can get one more, we can upgrade the Gerudo region. We um, only have five more Lizafos horns than needed, so probably going to hold off on that. Alright, this one requires some Lizafos trophies, but I think we'll be fine with that. Alrighty. We got more of that stuff. That should really help. Let's see what uh, Monk Maz needs here. The Coblin Trophies. So hold off on that. Impa right here needs 1,500 rupees, but also 300 Coblins. So hold off on that. Did I check... Uh... No, I didn't check him, but it looks like he's got more than plenty. Alrighty. Over here. We didn't really check anything else down there. No. Anyways, go to this star right here. We're, we just jumped right up to 53%. It was like, like at uh, 49 or so when uh, we ended off the last episode. So all those upgrades really jumped up the overall completion percentage. But um, I still want to not uh, splurge them all at once and have to really farm for... Uh, places I've already been to. That's what I'm really trying to work on avoiding. Going to places I've already been to. What do we still need for this heart anyway? We still need five more restless crickets and six more honeys. What do we need for this heart down here? We just need more hearty radishes. I think we can actually buy some right now before we go to a... Uh, it uh, doesn't look like we can. But um, let's make our first uh, side challenge of the video. This uh, Varuta one. Defending Cephla Lake. It'll give us uh, five more hardy radishes. And then maybe an opportunity to buy some at a uh, store after I finish this challenge. So let's go ahead and hop on into this one. Alrighty. This kind of stage looks exactly the same as the one uh, we just did in that uh, last main mission. But it looks like we're going backwards this time. I don't think I need... Yeah, let's use it. Did I get everything else? Hard to really tell. But if I do this, that'll really get rid of them. Didn't really destroy that whole fort, though.
Yeah. I already got another special attack again. But just keep moving. Yeah. Yep, even the move of the elephant's trunk can do that. <laughs> just get rid of the Hinox in one hit. Yeah, break that way open. Let's just get rid of the Hinoxes this way. There's one over there too. Alrighty. More than halfway through to getting all enemies beat up. Now we're two thirds of the way there. Get rid of the Hinoxes with this again. Yeah. Hmm, that didn't ramp up the uh, KO count as much as I'd like. But just keep moving. We're almost to the end. Two minutes left to get uh, just over 500 more enemies. Just keep moving. going. Under 500 left. Wasn't sure if that would get rid of him, but it thankfully did. Kind of realized I'm going backwards a bit, but we only need just uh, 200 more enemies to beat up. So, we pretty much still got this anyway. There we go. Yeah, that took slightly longer than it really should have, but uh, whatever. Got five more radishes. Alrighty. Now let's buy some honey. Didn't really need anything else from there. Hard to believe no shop is really selling uh, more of that radish. But uh, all we can do is just press on to another uh, challenge we could do. Let's do... Let's let's keep doing the Divine Beast ones. Let's go to uh, Vonoboros now. Two Chiefs. <laughs> really like the title for this one. Gotta defeat every guardian first. Build up the special attack gauge first.
That is one way to really beat up all the guardians. that one right there. More guardians have appeared. Well, let's get them from here. What's this? Are they even reaching? It doesn't look like they are. Yeah, really tricky to see the aim of it right there. More guardians have appeared. Yeah. Huh. That was a pretty quick beat up of like three there. There's still two behind me. And they're the airborne ones. Okay. Keep moving. Let's get these ones over here first. Then we'll get the uh, bigger cluster of ones. Where'd this many come from? Okay, I got those airborne ones there, but uh, those ones back there are probably just uh, too far out for me. Just keep moving. Much is at stake. Twenty eight. Yeah. All right, last one. Where it? Oh, oh, it's right yeah. over there. Off to the left. It's still not down. Took an extra while to really get the last one down. Okay, buy some more honey, which will finally Oh, it doesn't yet We still need five more restless crickets. Can we get them here? Now we can get some more big hearty radishes at least That still didn't really unlock uh, what we needed but, I, but I'd say we're getting kind of close. Hmm, they really want us to dojo up somebody, but um, I don't think that's necessary as much. Let's do uh, the next Divine Beast challenge, uh, wherever it is. I'm pretty sure there was another one. Uh, here it is. Volcanic Might with Varudanya. Alrighty. I'm 
going to guess I have to destroy all the guardians I can here as well. Now, all the stone taluses. This one ain't going to be easy, I'm pretty sure, because um, the kind of defense that uh, Redania has is really not that great. Yeah, if I had a pick for worst divine beast, it's Rudania. Because it's really hard to defend against uh, a lot of these attacks. It really is. And I'm having trouble just getting aims off here. I'm trying to find a good spot to get a special attack going. I'm definitely going to need that more often than uh, the other Divine Beasts, for sure. Man, he's still not down. Gosh, he needs that much of an, an attack beating just to really... Not to mention, we're sort of running out of time here. Okay, do we have... Uh... Some of these stone taluses are on the other side of this rock, so I really need to get up top to really get a move on for them. Let's go ahead and beat this one up at close range. Now, let's try a special attack. Guardians have appeared. I only got just uh, one extra talus down with that special attack. Especially with my aims being this terrible. We only need two more beat up. We're kind of going the wrong way, too. We only got a minute left, so gotta hustle. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's just difficult to defend with Rudania. Alrighty, one left. Up this way. Should have time to get it defeated, but... Uh... Okay. Still not that easy. Alrighty, that's it for that one. Now... Okay, we can definitely buy something up here now. More radishes. Okay. This heart is finally unlocked. So let's go ahead and get that one taken care of. Bonus experience earned from enemies goes up 5%. That's awesome. Now we got this here. The Restless Cricket. Is that what we needed for the other heart? 
Yes, it is. Alrighty, now we can use this one. Increased rod uses by one. Oh, so badly needed that upgrade. Anyways, uh... Did I miss anything else around here? Let's see uh, if we got somebody worthy for uh, trying to farm for an upgrade on. Link, maybe, yeah. This will give him the third special attack gauge. He just needs t five more razor shrooms, wherever those are. We can only get him there, but uh, really don't want to redo that. I'm just hoping I could somehow get him in a uh, shop. And that one kind of shop just isn't open yet. Let's do one more side challenge and then we'll end off this video for today. Nap Quest. So I have to play as Koga and uh, some other character too. So go ahead and put Link in. What the ever-loving heck? Get, get these monsters out of my hideout! <laughs> yeah, we'll do just that. Defeat the Ice with Rope and other key enemies. Where's uh, Link at? Oh, he's down there. Well, let's defeat what we need to in here and then we'll... Um... Okay, it's just a Fire with Rope. Then I'll switch over to Link <laughs> for whatever he needs to beat up. <laughs> now that's how bombs really should be used. Especially on airborne enemies. Uh, he's actually stuck underground again. Okay. That's taken care of. Switch over to Link for a bit. And have uh, Koga go up here. Oops. Yeah, they were just in such a close range, I just didn't have room to get out of the way. Okay, got a nice with rope here. <laughs> hey, the with, with rope decides to be on the ground for once for when I want to do a bombing. You got some flashy moves. <laughs> I think you got that right. Okay, another enemy is coming down this way. Let's just uh, take care of that right now. And then I'll switch over to Koga for the other one. It's just another fire with rope. Ooh, wow. All those electric choo choos as well. <laughs> really doing me a favor. Did I get them all? Yeah. Yeah, a few more electric keys wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Just to really be sure on the uh, count and everything. Oh, stone pebbles. Yeah, let's get rid of these stone pebbles too. We don't get these kinds of enemies very often, so that's why I really want to beat them up before we... Uh, Keep going here. Did I get them all? I think I did. Oh, there's another one. I might as well assist uh, Koga in this room with the ice with rope. With Robin, their allies have been defeated. A stone talus has appeared. Okay. And it's outside. Might as well go back out there and get it taken care of. Got five minutes to beat it. Hey. Got a lot more of these enemies, too. Keep beating them up. I don't know if there's any more surrounding, but... 
Eh. I was airborne, I couldn't really get out of its way. Say I tried to hit ride, but uh, Link just made an awkward jump where I couldn't uh, get on. Huh, you're not taking the Yiga clan hideout. Never in a hundred years. <laughs> really like that kind of wording. That nap quest is taken care of. Okay, no new quest was uh, unlocked there, but do we have any shops worth going to? Well, no, we don't. Well, let me look and see what other uh, side challenges we got really quick before we end off, and then we'll pick up from those then as well. It looks like uh, the one with Urbosa is just the only one left, but, but if that's really the case, we should probably do that now so that um, we don't have a way too short of a video next time. So, and even though uh, Urbosa is under-leveled in this, let's just go ahead and use her for this anyway. It's a good challenge nonetheless. Goron's are doing their best, but I think they could use a little help. <laughs> I think you got that right. Got an A2 Goron captains here. Huh. Now that's an excellent lightning attack there. Too bad it doesn't really kill most of them at once, though. They still got tons of energy and defense to their name. Oh yeah, we got a guardian here. No wonder these Goron captains need some aid. Captain taken care of. Keep moving. Some fire keys. <laughs> Back off from that exploding choo choo. to that go on now. Okay, these moblins. Boy. 
Don't go that much. Get the last one out. Really hate the camera changes. That's better. Alrighty. Probably expecting a boss here. He's not. I hope that big pebble is alright. <laughs> Head for Unova. Gotta go around this way. Oh, some stone pebbles. Take care of them. Looks like Yonobo is surrounded by a fire Hinox. No wonder. Oh. <laughs> Still got that uh, Magnesis on him. Are you kidding? That'll help a bit. Hmm. That didn't really help as much either. I got a better idea. That'll really deplete itself a lot more. Wisdom of the storm. Just gave her like four level ups without even uh, using the dojo. Alrighty. Got that taken care of. Unfortunately. <laughs> Nothing I could do for uh, Link in his quest for a third special attack gauge. I mean, uh, that that kind of thing would just really, really come in handy at this point, but uh, we just don't have it yet. Otherwise, all the other side challenges have been uh, completed, so it's now time to enter the Great Plateau. We'll probably use that kind of team, but we'll probably switch out our Bosa for Zelda. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let me uh, see if we can get uh, just, just a couple more upgrades uh, for characters going, and then we'll um, potentially end things off here. Um, the Lizafo Horn, I'm going to hold off on that. Right here, Bacoblin Trophy. At least we picked up a few more Bacoblin knockouts, so this one should be good enough. Right here. Huh. Not much Bacoblin there. Right here. Um, the Bacoblin Guts. I'm hoping that's not much of an issue, but um, I think it should be okay to upgrade Arbosa for that. I 
will put this strength to good use. Alrighty. For Koga, costs 4,000 rupees for this. But he just barely got enough Moblin trophies for it, so we'll probably hold off on that. This one here, the Stealth Fin Trout. Should be okay for an upgrade here for Teba. I haven't yet reached my peak. Rivali here. Yeah, the Coblins should hold off on. Okay, we need a Durian for Rivali. Let's see if we can buy one from... You can only buy five at a time, though, but uh, at least uh, we'll keep him at at pace. Need 200 Bacoblins for that one. Same for that one. 250. Another 250. 400. Uh, no. Okay, 150 here shouldn't be that bad for Hestu. Over here, just a hundred Bacoblin trophies shouldn't be that bad. We'll go for that. Wait until you see my newest moves. Right here, just another hundred Bacoblins. Yeah, let's do it. And over here, need three Lionel trophies, and we got seven. Well. The next uh, couple places, including the next big chapter mission, should have a few Lynels or such. Let's go ahead and upgrade him for that. Okay. What does he still need here? Smothering Butterfly and 20 more Moblin trophies. Let's give him uh, some Smothering Butterflies from right here. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, he's got enough of that. We'll turn that off for the Moblin since way too many places require the Moblin. Alright, the Bacoblin will hold off on that. Here, uh... Stone Talus. Yeah, let's go ahead and give... You know about that upgrade. We also got Amber Earrings. <laughs> Here, 250 Bacoblin trophies. We'll hold off on that. Lizophos trophies. Um, I think uh, I think one shouldn't hurt as much. Oh, just another fairy upgrade here. Looks like we got plenty of all these, so... Including Octorox. Required, um... Hmm. 30. But might as well upgrade them now. We'll run into more Octorox for sure. Down the road. Let's see what we got for Impa. Hold off on the Bacoblins. For Sidon... The Wiz robe is a, an issue, but um, there's plenty of Wiz robes to uh, battle in a lot of these places. Let's go ahead and upgrade Sidon for that. I seem to have improved. Alrighty. Oh, those should help a bit. Okay, hold off on the Bacoblins again. This one only needs a hundred Bacoblins, so let's go for it. Okay. Forgot what makes all these uh, flash so much. I think it may have to do with uh, the Razor Shroom. Actually, it's not that. 
It might be, uh, oh yeah, Rivali. He still needs uh, the Durians as well as the Bacoblins. So that's why there's so many flashings there. So once we get uh, more Bacoblins taken care of, we'll, uh, a, lot, a ton of those green flashings will just go away. But otherwise, we're going to end off this episode here, and I know this one has lasted almost 50 minutes and everything, but that was just to get uh, a lot more upgrades taken care of, as well as all the rest of the side challenges before we head into the next Chapter 6 mission. At least we bumped the overall completion rate by like 8% in one episode. That is just um, awesome. We... Yeah, we started this with a 49% completion rate. Now we just bumped it all the way up to 57. But we're just really taking our time upgrading what we can for our allies and everything. But we'll get it done as one way or another. Anyways, that will finally do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you good friends for the start of the next chapter mission, The Great Plateau. Have a great day. So long.